Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to use Doodly to explain a historical event. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Whether you're a teacher hoping to make history come alive for your students, a content creator wanting to engage your audience with exciting stories from the past, or just a history enthusiast looking to create visually compelling narratives, Doodly is an excellent and easy tool to use. So let's dive in. For today's example, I've selected the Boston Tea Party. It's a pivotal event in US history. Once you've chosen your topic, create a script that summarizes the event in an engaging and informative way. Remember, it's not just about stating facts, it's also about telling a story that your audience can connect to. So in my case, I'm talking more about why it was significant. So I'm going to talk probably more about this stuff than I am about the actual event. It's up to you, whatever your angle is, okay? So where to get images? I can tell you right now, Doodly does not have Boston Tea Party images, and I don't expect it to. While I usually head to freepick or pixabay.com, they don't really have anything relevant either. Instead, I went to the U.S. Library of Congress and I searched for Boston Tea Party photos and artwork that are included in the public domain. I found a treasure trove of public domain items, including images, a book, and even an 1890s audio recording titled Ye Boston Tea Party March from Sousa's band. Now the audio quality is terrible, but I might use it. We'll see. So once you've gathered your images, it's time to create your doodly video. So we're going to start with a brand new canvas here. So I'm going to go to my videos and we start create new video. And I'm just going to call it Boston Tea Party. And I'm going to go to custom today. And right here where it says custom color, click that. I'm going to choose custom image. I'm going to browse for a file. And what I have is from that book that I downloaded. It's all yellowed. The pages are all yellowed because it's so old. So I took a blank page and I'm going to use that as my background. So I just have this yellow image of a yellowed page. We'll see how that looks. Let's go ahead and bring in some of those photos. This is from that actual book. Okay, this is Boston, 1888 is when it was published. I have a few more graphics that I want to bring in. So again, props, blue and white plus sign, and I'm just going to drag and drop them in. And before I get too fancy, let's bring in our audio recording. So to import audio, click sounds, and then the blue and white plus sign, and we're just going to bring in two audios, my narration, which I did about an hour ago, and the Sousa March that I was talking about. So let's just drag and drop those in. So I'm going to bring my narration into the bottom track. And then let's add a title. Okay, so we're pretending I'm a history teacher and this is from Unit 2. Clicking the pencil icon and choosing Reveal Mode Fade. So that way it just fades on, looks a little nicer in my opinion. Okay, so this is very basic. It's just telling what we're getting into here. So it doesn't need to be a super long scene, but it needs to be long enough for them to read it. So I'm going to add a couple seconds at the end. And let's see what we have here. The Boston Tea Party, a significant event in U.S. history, occurred on December 16th. So we probably need the date and some images. So let's click a new scene, go back to props, and let's find a nice image of the actual tea party. And right here, it has the date. I don't know how prominent that's going to be, so we may want to write it in ourselves or underline it. I think we'll probably write it in. Remember, I'm a history teacher and I'm trying to reinforce this for my students, so I don't want to make them have to search for it. So let's make it nice and obvious. And again, I'm just going to fade it on and add some extra time at the end. Now I'm just going to go ahead and build some very simple scenes here with just some various graphics that I found. When I get to the part where it's significant because reasons, we'll build a bullet list. 
So I'm just going to do this real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I added a couple of slides, as you can see. And now we're to the part where we talk about why it was significant. So I'm just going to do a simple bullet list here. So go to text and enter whatever it is you want to say. I'll say why it matters. I'm just going to bring in and I am not going to type in all the stuff that I'm saying. I'm just going to have the bullet point and then I will explain it. So that means that I need to put some delays between these things to match the audio. So let's go to show preview. Take a listen here. The Boston Tea Party was significant because it was one of the major catalysts that led to the... So this one takes up a little too much time. So I'm going to go ahead and shorten it a little bit. stage for the American Revolution. The Boston Tea Party was significant because it was one of the major catalysts that led to the American Revolution. Resistance to tax. Okay, so I don't talk about resistance to taxation till right about here. So if I move my playhead, you can see this is where I say it. So I have one, two, three, four, five, almost six seconds before I say it. So let's go ahead and click on that. And right here where it says delay, Let's add six seconds. You might need it to be five and a half. Let's just see. One of the major catalysts that led to the American Revolution. Resistance to taxation. The event underscore. Yeah, so it needs to be a little earlier. Let's try five. Resistance to taxation. The event underscored the column. Okay, so that's fine. And then I'm going to talk for a little bit before unity among colonists come on. So I'm just going to guess here. Just say six seconds and we'll do that on all of them. And let's just see. Revolution. Resistance to taxation. The event underscored the colonists' resistance against the British policy of taxation without representation. The Tea Act of 1773 was seen as a clear violation of their rights, which prompted the protest. Okay, so that was not nearly long enough, so let's make it 11 seconds. You just have to play with it. Clear violation of their rights, which prompted the protest. Unity among colonists. Okay, so I have my delay just fine. So now I need some time at the end because this is just going to end here. I may put an image here to bias a little. So let's go back to our props. And I like this one. This is a poem that somebody wrote. So I think maybe we will make this an assignment that the students need to read this poem. So. And since I'm adding this and I don't have that in my voiceover, I am going to add a little blurb here saying, hey guys, you need to read this poem. Previously, I had pre-recorded audio and I uploaded it. Well, now I'm just going to add it right here in Doodly. And here's how you do it. Click the little plus button right here in your audio track. When you're ready, hit the red microphone and begin speaking. So here I go. Your assignment today is to read the poem, Tea, Destroyed by Indians, and it's found on page 27 of your textbook. We'll talk about it next week. See you then. Okay, so that's me, the teacher, coming in with my instructions. I'm gonna hover over this and close the gap. And then I need to add some time here. So this comes on and it'll be there. And that should be Fine. I think that needs to be a little slower. And then we need time at the end of the scene to cover all that. So let's put 25 seconds. And then I think here, where I'm giving them the assignment, it might be kind of cool to bring that Sousa March in. We'll see. This is all dead air here, so I'm just going to tighten that. And then, of course, we don't need the whole two minutes, so I'm just going to trim that. And then we want it to fade out, so you right-click and choose Fade Out, and then I like to stretch the fade a bit. So let's take a quick look, and then we'll be done. The Boston Tea Party, a significant event in U.S. history, occurred on December 16, 1773, disgruntled by the British government's Tea Act 
which gave the East India Company a monopoly on tea sales in the American colonies, a group of colonists known as the Sons of Liberty disguised themselves as Mohawk Indians. They boarded three British ships and dumped 342 chests of tea into Boston Harbor. This defiant act was a protest against taxation without representation, setting the stage for the American Revolution. The Boston Tea Party was significant because it was one of the major catalysts that led to the American Revolution. Resistance to taxation. The event underscored the colonists' resistance against the British policy of taxation without representation. The Tea Act of 1773 was seen as a clear violation of their rights, which prompted the protest. Unity among colonists. It played a crucial role in uniting the American colonists against British rule. It was one of the first organized acts of rebellion where different colonies came together with a common cause. Escalation to war. The British reaction to the Tea Party, which include punitive measures known as the Coercive Acts, or the Intolerable Acts in the American perspective, further inflamed tensions. This led directly to the convening of the First Continental Congress and eventually escalated to the outbreak of the Revolutionary War. Symbol of protest. Even today, the Boston Tea Party stands as a significant symbol of protest against perceived unfair governance and has been referenced and replicated in various political movements around the world. Your assignment today is to read the poem, Tea Destroyed by Indians, and it's found on page 27 of your textbook. We'll talk about it next week. See you then. And there you have it. We've just used Doodly to break down a historical event. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching.